Okay, I am being lazy today. I did not even get up to it. Alright. What's up, guys? I'm Abe, of course. Welcome back to another video. Um, today is going to be very different in the sense for me and not for you guys. You're going to see for an upcoming bus of the days that I'm being wearing the same PJ. Yes, is it PJ? And you're going to be like, does this guy ever change his PJ? I do. I just, today I'm deciding to record multiple videos at once. That way you don't have to record on the rest of the day. And also, I'm going to be working soon, which I do. But I'm going to be working a lot more from now on on a job. Uh, I'm not going to get into that uh, because I, this is work is mostly, I mean, we're not going to get into that, all right? We're like, those who work understand me. It's boring. Ready, something fun happens unless you don't. We're not going to get it. All right. Um, let's see. What video we're doing today? Now, we're still not doing the CTT yet. Um, I'm not doing that yet. Actually, I could recreate it right now. You're probably wondering why I'm just talking random. I'm just figuring out what I'm going to... Videos I'm going to record right now. And in what order. Uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, that one still needs to be edited. Right, how about we do... Uh, how about I do three comedy series, separate videos. Uh, I still need to do my ST. I can do PNC also. And I can most likely do a challenge. Which you guys are going to find out soon. Uh, okay, um, let me do the challenge. I don't have to switch out of my PJs. That's okay. Alright. This comedy series is called Dating. Now speaking about dating, I need to add something else to my little list of video ideas. Now, why, out of all people, me, am I doing a video about dating? Well, that's a good question. You see, I am doing school. Yeah, no kidding, I'm doing school. And one of the classes I'm taking is life management. You guys probably know what that means. For those of you who don't know, my younger viewers, job success, managing money, getting along with parents, drug abuse, dating, Friends for made marriages, alcohol, tobacco, gambling, abortion, first aid, STD, living with your spouse, divorce from a biblical perspective, fornication, adultery, social networking, etc., etc., etc. Now you get the idea. So, in the first one of the first weeks of class, like a long time ago, I know I'm doing this class very late right now, as a matter of fact. Even when I do it a couple of days ago, but I was too lazy. I don't feel like recording that much videos except um, me writing Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And, Piano and such. But yeah, anyways, uh, dating, my teacher, if I can remember his name right now, I think it's Mr. Rick, Mr. Rick, or something like that, I don't remember, I apologize. Let's just call him Mr. Rick for short, uh, let's call him that because I don't remember his name. Uh, he talked about dating, and he's a old guy, to say the least, and very fun guy. Some of the things he said, I will make fun of. Even though he made fun of some of the things he said. So let's go get the gas get going. I need a speech therapist. Alright. So back in the day, probably not probably it's probably your parents' age. Probably before that, at my teacher's age, dating was different than today. Today you can just ask a girl, let's go out to In and Out. You go to In and Out or some restaurant, but not anymore because everything's closed. Back in the day before Okay, kids, before everyone wore the mask, there used to be this thing called indoor and outdoor dining. All right? All right. All right. You don't believe me? Go to Wikipedia. You probably would believe that. So back in the day, you could not take your girlfriend out. I mean, you could, but you, if you were going to take your girlfriend out, you basically had to invite her whole family. And imagine inviting her mom, her dad, and all the siblings, especially the little guys. They're going to embarrass her so much and embarrass everything and make you two feel awkward. How do I know this? Sitcoms and movies. So anyways, you're eating and imagine you having to pay for all of the family members. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to walk her home? Oh, it's fine. Go ahead. Walk her home. Meanwhile, the dad's five feet or five yards behind with a shotgun. You can't even touch her. You can't hold her hands. The dad's right here. You accidentally touch her. You know what's about to happen. 
And don't ask why this has no bullets because I believe I was robbed. Like I said, don't ask. And I also need new Nerf guns too. So he will shoot you. You can't if you trip. You gotta hope that you hit the floor instead of the ground. Another thing, actually, let me look at my book to see if this made out. It's funny. But let me yawn because I am tired. And if you are Hispanic and you just heard me, I'm tired. You'll probably say, "Cansado de qué? I said nada." Yeah, if you, if you guys speak Spanish or understand it, you know what I mean. So here we go. Um, the blah 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 blah. Ah, group act. The kinds of dating. Here we go. Group activities. I mean, picnic parties, day trips, sports events, and other activities before Brona. Hopefully, I don't get demonetized from saying that. Even though I don't make money after this videos, even though I don't check my email, which I probably should. All right. Um, just imagine you and other people. Well, if it's a group activity, you go with other friends. Is it still considered, quote, dating, unquote, since you're spending time with your other friends and your crush or date? Is it? And if everyone knows you like her, you're dating her, and you invite your guys to a group activity, oh boy. Some of you know who you are because you will be teasing the living daylight out of people. That's when we bring... No, 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 no. Next one, a casual relationship. What is this? Spending time with another person of the opposite sex who is a friend. Enjoy this. Come without getting serious. This gives any blah 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 blah. Okay, if it's a casual relationship, for I'm understanding here, wouldn't you just call it a friendship because you're getting to know this person more before you ask them out? I mean. It's not a date, it's a friendship, which then goes back to the group activity, so it, it's it's all confusing. All right, I'm single. I know nothing. And then steady relationships, what is this? Same thing as pretty much everything. Yeah, I know you have to make friends first. What about courtship? I mean, this is turning out to be a bad video, actually. Just seven minutes of me talking and not being funny. Being a comedic series. This was way funnier in my head. And some people don't find me funny, so. And you know what courtship is. Um, who do you date? Uh, I believe you date someone who is of the opposite gender. Yeah. Oh, here's the thing. You don't have to spend money to go on a date. I know, it's amazing, right? It is! Just don't go to your parents' house, because that's worse than your friends. Your parents, when you mention someone, the opposite gender, more humiliation. Even more so if you're Hispanic, but luckily they don't do that with me. My parents, yes, yeah. Right. Who do you date? Someone of the opposite gender, obvious enough. I'm not going to read this. Oh, yeah, I remember this. A blind date. So I have a question for you guys, for you intellectuals out there, you big brain. A blind date is you go to a date with someone you've never seen before, all right? But what if both dates are blind? The guy is blind and the girl is blind. What do you call it then? If they do and if they don't know each other, do you still call it a blind date or something else? Also, what if, what if one party is blind, but the other one is not? Because he, according to this, he hasn't seen her before or known her. Because he's blind or she's blind. I'm mean, going see for the sake of this, because English, alright? What do you call it then, if it's a blind date? Alright? Uh, what's it like? Uh, guys, of course, don't be late. Which I've yet to see a guy who's late to something. I'm not trying to be biased right now, so. Always go for the always go to the door of her home to cover her. 
in the 21st century, that's probably ready to happen. They'll probably call him, call her up and be like, Hey! I'm here. Which, uh, yeah. Dads can be scary. I would not know because I'm single. I, I have TV to tell me that. Uh, meet her parents. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I'm saying Johnson because I do not want to mention my... Or any last name because people like to talk. I hope there's no one at church named Johnson because that would be weird. <laughs> Open the door of the house and the call for her. Yeah, guys, good luck with that. You know who you are. Uh... <laughs> okay, I just remember one of the funniest things I want to say. Hopefully it's funny. Always be sure that she's in safety. All right, if some kid runs at you, most likely, if it's a girl from Faith, she's going to sacrifice you to the killer. Because most likely, the killer is one of her friends. But do not run or leave her there. And always, it's always obvious to be on the left side of the road when you're walking. Facing traffic. One of my teachers said, you do that because in case they jump a curve and they head straight at you, you look them straight in the eyes. How do I look on my... My eyes look crooked. You look them straight in the eyes. As they're about to hit you. And your last moments of your vision. As you die. Will be of their face. About to run into you. But yeah. But it says. Always be. Let the guy be on the side of the curve. The girl on the other side. Well what if the guy gets hit. Of course you don't want to get the girl to get hit. But why do you have to be on the side of the road. You, I mean you can. You can just walk single fire against a brick wall. I mean, I forgot what joke I was going to say. I should have done this earlier. Treat her with respect. Think of your relationship as being Christ-centered. Uh, I, I've read this, but rereading it again is a bit weird. Never, this is for girls, never ask the guy to go out with you. He may agree. But he will not respect you. The male needs the challenge of the chase, which is... I'm not going to get into that because... That's because. <laughs> okay. It's being a single person just reading this is just hilarious. Never accept a date. A date. This is still for the girl. That is your death job, so ask him first. Don't ask him if he wants to go on a date, you guys. I know how some of you think. Don't ask the dad, hey, sir, you want to go on a date? Ask him if you can take his daughter for the date. Be ready, dress suitably for the activity. Depending on the type of occasion, you dress suitably. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Be enthusiastic about what he has planned. Or try to be, because why not? Next up, um, I'm going to have to rename this video to just me rambling about dating. Uh, if your relationship continues, have him for dinner. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Have him over for dinner, not have him for dinner, because... Wait, 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 wait. Is that what happened to Jimmy? Man, I think that's what happened to Jimmy. Last time I saw Jimmy, he says he was going over to his girlfriend's house for dinner. I haven't seen him ever since. His girlfriend told me that he was in the WIA, no WPA. So maybe they had him for dinner. Um. Okay, um, if, if she's in a, um, you know, a cannibal, um, um, invite him to be, invite him to his funeral. Because after he meets your dad, he's most likely going to die. Unless the dad respects him and likes him. Which will have to be rare. Unless you work, okay, we're not going to, we're not going to get into that, you guys do the math. Um, 
tell your parents where we're going and find out what to expect when you get home. Uh, we're going up to the mountains and um, imagine the murderers, how they kill the girls. I'm going to go into this. I'm sorry. I'm making the dark joke, okay? Let me be. All right, so Mr. Um, I need another name because I can't name the name I was going to say. Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Rinaldi. Yeah, I'm going to take your daughter up to Mount High. Yeah, I'm going to slit her throat. Then dodge your eyeballs out and I want to dump her off the cliff. That went too dark than I expected. My mind needs help and I have no script whatsoever. Um, do not kiss the girl. Good night, all right? Instead, give her a kiss. The chocolate one. Not a chocolate kiss, but a Hershey's chocolate kiss. All right? Uh... And there you go. Uh, that's just me rambling about dating. Trying to be funny. So, um, thank you for watching this video. I'll film more. And goodbye.